<laughs> Do that again. <laughs> I'm headed out for a run this morning, and you can see Phil's still working on his coffee, so he's not headed anywhere. Three cup minimum. I'm not three cups yet. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to ditch coffee and get my run in before we head out today, so we have some plans later today. So it's either get it done or I'll blow it off. I'm doing my plans right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people always ask us how we stay in shape. Well, as you can see, some of us are working a little harder than others to get there. Round is a shape. <laughs> so, so today my goal is um, four miles. I'm trying to beef up my uh, mileage. And yes, I did just bump my head on the TV in case you're wondering. So I'm trying to. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to beef up my miles a little bit and get going. So today's goal is four. Although I am not running with her, I did come out and hold the camera so I could catch her going down the road. I'm supportive. I'll hold the camera. We're here in um, Vero Beach, Florida at an Encore RV resort. Uh, let's use the term resort loosely. Let me show you our site. The site itself is very narrow. I mean, it is just wide enough to put the rig in it. Uh, concrete is busted um, in the back end, so it dips down. Um, it's just not a, it's not very well groomed for a resort. Um, you know, I guess because of the amenities they have, but um, it's not a, a campground that we would normally frequent, um, but we're here because uh, you may recognize the rig behind us. It's the weirdest setup. It's a raised patio, so you literally had to jockey not scraping your tires on the side of the patio coming in or hitting the corner, potentially puncturing your tire. Anywho, let me get back to my coffee. Gosh, that was terrible. What's up? All right, that was my worst run in a while. Really? Although, you, probably by my hair, it probably looks like I killed it, huh? Yeah, you killed it. Yeah, it killed me. So, my goal was four. I made it four. I did have to walk some, but I think my problem is my nutrition is crap. Sucky. Yeah. So, when we were in San Antonio, I made it seven over seven seven and a half fasting even and i did great but there was no humidity like there is today that's one strike against me and since the holidays our diet has been all over the place so what we need to do is get phil back on a diet that's really what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute it's all about you not me I'm... no i'm just kidding i have to i have to work on it and make sure when i i have fuel when i leave for my run in the morning so yeah. Um, and I would recommend in this heat humidity you would leave a little sooner. Yeah, I, you know, after running in 40 and 50 degrees, I forgot how bad Florida, um, humi I can't even think right now, <laughs> Florida humidity can be, so. Are you trying to get my sexy legs? Yes. These guys have a new kayak. Well, I say it's new because, you know, it's the first time I'm seeing it. So it's definitely new to me, but it's foldable. That is their kayak. So <laughs> definitely. 15 foot tandem. 15 foot tandem. So it's pretty cool, but it's pretty big. There's no way that bad boy's fitting in anywhere in our in our rig. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Not even in the back of the Jeep? Yeah, Maybe in the back of the Jeep, but that would be it. We probably would even have to lay the back seat down. Oh, uh, that's about 40 pounds. Kind of heavy, but... I guess we're not getting one of those. Why? I think we're, we would have nowhere to, to put it. That's, have, a, that's tandem, though. You know so the only thing we'd have to But then we'd still need two. We'd have to put it on the roof. Bike. Well, yeah, no, but that's tandem, so it's bigger. It's, it's bigger. But Although then we would need two. It's smaller. It's yeah. even bigger, yeah. probably. Or maybe oh, if it's not heavy enough, I could, I could probably strap those. I could put it in the Jeep, or I could strap it to the ladder on the back. But not that heavy. You could put it inside the Jeep. Yeah. Those wouldn't last long on the ladder. You could get one of those cargo carriers on top of the Jeep. Yeah. Aren't they so nice helping us spend our money, finding ways to, <laughs> to acquire the kayak? Great friends, great friends. We do have an affiliate link for you, Stacy. <laughs> going? Are we going? Go. We're going.
done. Um, done. Done time. Time. You can take the front seat out, move this bar up here, and put that seat here, and then it's a single. So this is set up for you back here, Tara? That's Chad. Oh, Chad's back yeah, here? Yeah, I'm in the front. And then this actually helps keep your tension on your back. Yeah, but the, you can you can adjust the tension on the back too with these straps, oh, with the yeah. two straps. Here. You can disappoint it. And you can adjust the, atten the tension on your feet too. Yeah. yeah. That's that's pretty cool. So no yeah. water comes up over the side? Oh, it hasn't yet. Really? That's great. All right, we're switching the camera around to make it waterproof. So the mic goes, and then we have to put it in a case. So the sound might go with it. Push. A little sand. Stacy gets up here to straighten it. Stacy gets the same face as me. <laughs> <laughs> Felt a little precarious back there. Push off. I can't. Oh, hold on, let me get my Hold on, hold on. We're not moving. Hold on. You need some help? That's right. Yeah, Our butts good. are stuck in the sand. There we go. Push, push. Uh, Woohoo, finally. Yay, we're coming. <laughs> Underway. We forgot to formally introduce our friends. This is Ron and Cindy Lou. Bye. What's the time it normally takes? And this is my world now. This is my world now. So Done. For those of you guys who are wondering, they do not have a video on this yet. It will be out eventually. Um, when it does come out, I will link it below. Um, in the meantime, I'll put a link down below if you want to go check out this company and um, you can check out the kayaks. We won't be getting one because we, we can barely store our Instant Pot. We definitely don't have room for a, big, a kayak, so <laughs> that's not happening. Since we've been in Florida, we've had to use our, our dehumidifier. That thing's been packed away for quite some time, so breaking it out was a must. It's, uh, as you can see here, it's doing its job. Holy crap, that is a lot of water. Now, we've been running this nonstop since we got here, and I can tell you we've dumped this at least twice a day now. Um, it's doing its job. It's helping keep the rig cooler, pulling that moisture out of the air so the ACs aren't working so hard. We did get ours from Walmart and it might be too big for your rig. So definitely look for um, the right size based on the capa or the size of your rig. So you may not need anything as, as large as what we have. And even if you do everything perfectly, you still might have issues with water later on. Yeah, they, <laughs> we have friends that found that out the hard way. And we'll link their video below. But let me tell you, having the dehumidifier yeah. really, really does help. Yeah. Unfortunately, our friends from Adventurous Way had to abandon their RV this week. It's, it's awful. The good thing about being in warmer weather is we get to break out the Blackstone and sit outside and enjoy a good barbecue in decent weather without having to bundle up. So, as you can see, Stacy is in her happy place. Yeah. <laughs> I have my grill out again. It's so nice. Yeah. It's this is the first time we've had it out since November. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been just a little too cold. Yeah. So we got some 
some cabbage, some peppers, some brats, and some sausages. You know, good wholesome dinner. Good keto dinner. It is. Yeah, and oh, I'm starving too. And the brats were boiled in a Michelob Amber Ultra. <laughs> I don't know if it really matters what beer it's boiled in. But I just wanted you to give that, get that aroma, because now I bet you you're starting to smell. Oh yeah, they were cooked in beer. <laughs> Because I could smell it as soon as I walked in the house. How do we keep recording me without makeup? I don't know, but I think you look smashing. Doesn't she look smashing? Mm -hmm. She's beautiful just like she is. Uh, give I, give I this a thumbs a up if you think so. <laughs> there better be a lot of thumbs up or I'm in trouble. <laughs> what do we saute this in? Um, some G, garlic, salt, and pepper. That's pretty much it. Mm. I can't wait for that to get in my belly. All right, these are almost done too, and then we'll be ready to eat. Perfecto. Real quick, show them how you regulate the temperature. Oh, you want to see my... Yeah, so you had the cabbage and, and peppers yes. going. So, I have my little handy dandy laser, laser thermometer, laser, yes. yeah, thermometer. And that way I know when it's ready to go to put the food on and I know if it's too hot, if I need to move something or turn it down. I know you're gonna have water. We just finished up at the Navy SEAL Museum here at Fort Pierce, Florida. And I got to tell you, if you're in this neck of the woods, that is a must see. Uh, it was amazing. I learned so much. Um, I don't know. It, it's heartbreaking, but just cool to learn about the stuff at the same time. Yeah, the history behind the Navy SEALs, the UDT, 
the Frogman, the, everything. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal. And the advances in technology from their equipment from Vietnam, which is where they started, to today. I mean, it's it was crazy to see that first Frogman suit. The reason that the museum is here in Fort Pierce, Florida, we think, is because this used to be a training base for Frogman and UDT, which is underwater demolition teams back in the day. Yeah, and you know how Phil is with all his, his Navy stuff. So we're lucky that... Um, it's only four and not like 10 p.m. because <laughs> it's hard to get him out of this stuff sometimes. Yeah, it was. This is a must stop if you're in this neck of the woods. Oh. And if you're not in this neck of the woods, make it a, a, a stopping point somewhere while you're down in, in what is it, South Florida or Southern Florida? Yeah. But you got to check it out. Yeah. What are we going to show him? That's okay. Show him. Show him. I got, show. A, I got myself a present while I was in there. Something I can never find. And it's a female veteran shirt. Woohoo! Yeah, those are hard to find. We look just about every place we can. And today we found one. And in pink, double yes, bonus. Yes. Normally they have all the veteran stuff for guys, and they just say for me to get a small, which is not cool. Give me, give me that sunshine. ready to roll. Break. Reverse. <laughs> this is the bad part of meeting up. <laughs> this is where we get all sad because we got to say bye. You know what's exciting though? Is our big plans that we conjured up while we were here. And they are under wraps. We, You guys are going to be surprised. So totally different. Yeah. So we will keep these under wraps until we blast you on our social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until you have no choice but to watch. That's right. That's right. So let's are you go guys head now too. Yeah, we got to go hook up the car over there. Okay. So. All right. So we're gonna pull around. So we are too. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. It was so fun. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for getting COVID tested stuff. I know. Well, you know, it's a small price to pay for hugs. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Did you hug goodbye? No, you, you missed it. Oh, yeah. You missed it. You gotta hug it out. Here's the man hug. We already did it. We didn't want to be on camera. Nice. We're a little camera shy today. Nice. A camera shy. I only got 21% left, so these hugs better come <laughs> <I am>. quick. <laughs> this battery's gonna die quickly. These two don't get camera shy. No, I don't. At all. <laughs> we are, we are well, well trained. Oh, get out, get out. Aww. <laughs> I do. Come on, give the people what till they're next, looking for. Till next time. Bye! Yes. It was so fun. It'll we be... were telling the peeps that we have big plans. Big plans. Coming up. Yes. Yeah, it'll be yeah. fun. I'm, secret, I'm, right I am so excited that I wish we were going from here to those big plans. And it would be a long drive. It yes, would. but we would haul it if we needed yeah. to. Yeah. All, All right. right. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. All right. Let's roll. Happy travels. Short eight Happy days. Travels. Oh, it's such a bummer. <laughs> oh, we're so excited. But the best thing about this life is we will meet up again. There they go. They're off. <laughs> <laughs>